555-2448. Hey, I know you. J. Victor Collins. It looks like I have some good news for you. You qualify for two free rentals, so tonight these are on the house. Huh. Thank you. Speaking of free, I'm free this weekend if you wanted to call me. Like, go on a date. I'd be careful if I were you, Kyle. I'm kind of an outlaw. I'm not afraid. Look, I gave you my number. Just call me, would ya? I will. And, uh, you know, if nothing else, maybe we could catch a movie. Okay, goodbye. J. Victor Collins possessed an entrepreneurial spirit that drove him in his life. The problem was, most of the lucrative entrepreneurial endeavors he could get himself involved in were illegal. Grow dope? Too agricultural for his urban life. Open a chop shop? Too greasy. Pirate videos? Now that's something he could really get into. His interest in film, his ability to recognize movies people would want to possess, and his background in electronics made this line of work accessible to him. J. Victor Collins saw himself as the Blackbeard of the city, a buccaneer of video cassette tape entertainment, the Davy Jones of duplication. J. Victor Collins, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Pursuant to Title 17, Section 501 and 506 of the U.S. Code, I hereby sentence you for the maximum of five years for each of the four charges to be served consecutively. Let this conviction serve as a reminder that willful copyright infringement has no place in this community, nor in any community that values innovation and creativity. This court is adjourned. So I guess you weren't our best customer after all, hey? <laughs> I guess it is pretty cool you decided to use your one phone call on me. Even though that date I was hoping you would take me on will now be delayed about 20 years. Unless our next visit was a conjugal visit. All right, Collins, wrap it up. Well, I guess I better go. Well, I guess I'll probably be here when you get back then. J. Victor Collins tried to stay positive while in jail. He developed a sort of mantra to give himself hope. At any time, all hell could break loose. He kind of hoped aliens would invade and perhaps the prisoners would be sent to battle them. Or maybe a plague would sweep across the land and only he were immune to it. Sometimes he even thought that if he were lucky, he might just die peacefully in his sleep. It was these thoughts that kept him going. Honey, I've been thinking. When you get out, maybe you could check up with me. I mean, I could take good care of you.
You're a... A pirate. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> One silver watch. One video cassette tape. And one bathrobe. J. Victor Collins was finally free. The outside world was different than he had expected, and in more ways than he had ever imagined. A lot has changed, Jay. I can see that. I can. Well, what are you going to do? I'm going to sell movies to the people, Kylie. It's what I do. I don't know, it just seems like what you were doing before is kind of outdated. I mean, people burn, rip. They share all online now. They play movies on their portable electronic devices. They torrent things. I could show you sometime if you want. All I need to do is get set up, but in a new way. I'll learn the new technology. They will not stop me. I'm very excited for our first date. I've been dreaming of the day. Sure, yeah, whatever. I just, uh, just need to get my feet back on the ground. Don't do anything to get in trouble again now, dear. I've waited a long time to be with you. Kyle. I know what I'm doing. I learned the hard way, and I'll be more careful this time. 